Next Tuesday, we begin a journey with a friendly fallen named Mithrax, the last known splicer out there in the wild. Today we will discuss Mithrax's backstory and dive through everything you need to know about him before you jump into the new story mission and season next week. And so, I fled from her. For this, she calls me betrayer. There are others who fled, those like me who still worship the great machine. They are in hiding. I will not leave them behind. The earliest known documentation we have on Mithrax comes from Sewer Ido and the Dreaming City lore. Sewer Ido is a character that was pretty close to Mara Sov, the Queen of the Awoken, and she was the one who held Mithrax captive a long time ago. At this time, this was early on in Mithrax's life, as he was simply a vandal among the ranks of the House of Wolves, but was captured here in the Dreaming City. Here near this cliff, Mithrax decided to run and jump off the cliff to try to end his own life, but at that moment, Sur Ido pulled him back in, and they became friends. His fallen name was Misrax, which then became Mithrax to those of the Light and also the humans. After a time when all of the Fallen abandoned their banners at the end of Destiny 1, Mithrax would leave the House of Wolves and join the House of Dusk, a Fallen mega house that banded together in a time of great struggle. Mithrax, like the House of Dusk, would scavenge other worlds in search of supplies and technology that would aid in their cause. Our first encounter with Mithrax came in the base game of Destiny 2 on Titan. Some of you new players may be asking what the heck Titan is. No, not the big bulky guy on your fire team, it was actually a location on Saturn's moon. This was vaulted a couple of seasons ago. Regardless, there is an adventure called Enemy of My Enemy, and in this mini story we learn there was a fallen captain trying to scavenge for some parts to save his own species. At the end of this quest in a room on Titan, you will find both Mithrax the Forsaken and a Hive Knight dueling it out. I think that captain just gave us the reactor. You think you understand the Fallen and then... Well, let's take it. Sloane's waiting. Now I believe there was multiple endings here, but if you do kill the knight and save the captain, Mithrax will thank you in Elixni and give you the reactor he was searching for. Sometime later, Mithrax thought about his current beliefs. Humanity had the Traveler, and he was a part of the dying Fallen House running on rampant ideals and beliefs. Mithrax said this, Let them have the great machine. They deserve it. He now believed that humans deserved the great machine, or the Traveler. It was here when he abandoned the House of Dusk and then allied with humanity. In the Queenbreaker lore card, we can see Mithrax was even a part of a fire team with two other guardians. They spoke to each other about various things, and then Mithrax says this at the end. The captain turns. Wolves rebel. Now wolves extinct. This, where live mind things scatter, must end. I will call the mind open Elixni. No spider tricks. No loyal lies. Verisus truths. We fight for Great Machine together. So just like the quote describes, Mithrax would be the Kel of a new fallen house that were more open-minded and would work alongside humanity and the Traveler rather than fighting them for it, the House of Light. Zero Hour was where we encountered Mithrax again after the events of Titan. Sitting in the basement of a hangar at the farm's social space, we talked with Mithrax and then ventured to the Old Tower to take on a mission. One to stop the Fallen led by Aramis from obtaining a long-lost weapon, the Outbreak Perfected, which was involved with Siva. Most of this mission was just us fighting through the House of Dusk looking Fallen or, you know, Aramis's forces, but we did see Mithrax both at the beginning and the end making an escape on one of their ships. This power is a gift. 
One I will share with all of you in time. Phylax! One by one, we will rise again. In Beyond Light, there were a group of Fallen who did not believe in the ways that Aramis was teaching. She told them that they should use the darkness, use the power of stasis, and merge themselves with this dark power. Many accepted her plea, while others wanted nothing to do with it. During a mission in Beyond Light, we defend three beacons, allowing a trapped skiff to escape. On board this skiff were some fallen who wanted nothing to do with this dark power, the ones that wanted to cast themselves away from Aramis. Varix then sent these fallen to Mithrax. My friend, thank you. Soon the Elixni who still know hope will flee to safety. Mizrax, the Light Kel, awaits them. For a Kel, he is young, untested. But my people dare to hope. Yes, the skiff is prepared. Help my allies flee this ruined place, and they will become your allies too. This brings us up to the current day. It seems Mithrax is in fact the Kel of the House of Light. In the trailer, he's described as the last known fallen splicer, which is a fallen capable of sort of augmenting technology to their own needs and bodies. Now this is a little iffy to me as in the previous lore, many houses had their own splicers, but perhaps since the fallen are struggling, they all sort of died off and Mithrax is the only one that remains. With the invasion of the Vex and their simulation in the last safe city causing the Endless Night, it is said that Mithrax has the power to help us stop the time-traveling robots with his splicer tech. So given the name of the new artifact, we will most likely use some of this technology in the new Helm Room, and we'll also have many different interactions with the Friendly Fallen over the course of this season. At least, I hope we do. So Mithrax's story has been in the work for over four years, and we finally get to be allies with not just Keitel and the Cabal just last season, but now with some of the Fallen. Anyway, Guardians, I hope you enjoyed this roundup of Mithrax's story leading up to this season of The Splicer next Tuesday. If you'd like to see some more awesome Destiny mysteries and lore just like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching. My name's Evade, and I'll catch you, Guardians, in the next one.